All right, so this is the Type C Mini 4x4. It's 46 millimeters. What that means is it's actually a little smaller than your typical 2x2. Two two. Here's a long line in comparison. So it's it's pretty small actually. Um, compared to a normal like Shengshou 4x4, it's about three quarters of the size. And I think the middle layers turn really nicely. Slice turns are pretty easy. The problem is the outer layers. They lock up a lot. And sometimes and sometimes like if you turn one, the other one will turn will want to turn with it. I don't know if you can see that, but Yeah. So sometimes you turn one layer, you're not even holding the other one and it wants to turn anyway, so you have to sort of stop it. And some of this is because of the mechanism. Which is very simple, it's based based around the two by two, actually. So unlike you know, some other puzzles are based around like a five by five, for instance. I'll take some pieces out to show you what I mean. Oh, and here's one cool thing. The, the uh, centers are actually, I don't know if you can see that, they're two pieces. They sort of snap together like that. All right, so take these pieces out. Now, so this is actually like a three by three core, basically. You can see there's, there's a, you know, six, there's going to be six screws on each, you know, three here and then three invisible ones. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. And you got corners, and the corners have this big ridge. And so everything actually goes under that ridge. You got the edges, this is an edge, and the edge sort of hooks under there. And the, the center is also kind of hooked under this, this corner part. So everything's sort of on its own groove. So it's, it's actually a, a really simple, easy mechanism. You know, you've, you've got your core, which is actually bandaged. So um, if you haven't seen this before, I mean, a 3x3, three three, normally, you know, you can turn the slices. On here, you don't want to be able to. So what they do is they bandage a 2x2 two two corner. And then it's, it's like just FR and U. And so the corners... When it, whenever you want to turn one layer of the two by two, it always ha it always you know there's a bandage part, so the slice can't turn. Only one of the two possibilities can turn, and that that keeps it working. Same principle is actually in the long long two by two. So you've got an internal two by two. The corners have the ridge have ridges, and since they're screws, that means the corners are a little wiggly. Why is that bad? Well. What happens is that you've got, you can't put your screws too tight or else the corners won't turn. But because you've got screws and springs, the corners wiggle a little and that means that the puzzle is kind of loose. And the problem is that since the pieces are really small, it's actually really easy to put enough force to pop the puzzle. So it pops a lot. Also you might wonder why do the outer layers turn dif turn difficulty and i think it's because you've you've got this like this foot here on the center and that's i think that's sort of like catching on the inner i mean if if you just put it in and sort of rub it you can feel some resistance and i think it's actually catching on the inner core a bit you can help that by tightening the screws so it doesn't catch on the screws but it's it's still kind of iffy. So the outer layers aren't so great, but as you can see for myself, I mean, they're pretty good. You know, you can get a, a decent time. Also, as you remember, um, on the core, only one of the two layers can turn. Unlike on, like for example, on the Sheng Shou, this is based around a 5x5, five five, and so both of these two layers turn equally. On this one, they don't, because one of them, one of these is, uh, is see, watch the core. One of these turns would turn like that, but the other one would actually have to turn all of this. So it turns the middle of the core too. So that means when you turn one of these two layers, like let's say R, you're just turning that layer. When you turn L, 
you're turning that layer, you're turning like three layers, but holding two of them steady. So it's it's friction on, you're moving more of the core and you're moving it against these middle layers. So it's a really simple mechanism. The Pro is, I mean, for a small cube, it's great. Like, it's, it doesn't feel fragile. I don't think it's going to break very easily. You can sort of handle it a little rougher. But on the cons, compared to like a, a really good normal size 404, it's just not really comparable. I don't think anybody's going to get a world record or anything on this, even one-handed. You know, even like for one-handed 4x4 cubing, I think you'd still be better off using the normal size one, unless your hands are really tiny. So yeah, simple mechanism, pretty decent cube. I'm very happy with it because it's awesome and small. That's what I wanted. So I, I say if you want a small cube, buy it. If you want a speed cube, buy something else.